citation. You also need to take to a state referee and have them verify all the components on this motor and this exhaust system, okay? okay. There'll be some information on this citation. You'll also receive something in the mail. Okay. All right? Okay. Any modification to exhaust, you shall go before a judge and it's a thousand dollar fine. Okay, I wasn't okay? aware of it. That changed last month due to okay. the takeovers and some of the street racing. I so get it. So unfortunately, you're facing a thousand dollars, buddy, and we'll see you in court. What is up, fam? This message finds you all well and in great spirits. Well, my inbox or my DMs actually on Instagram have been blown up by something that's happening right now in the great state of California. Uh, apparently, what's happening now is basically if you have exhaust, and I don't just mean headers and a full exhaust and all that kind of stuff like I have on this car, which is a you know 2018 Mustang JT with a cat back, catless, the whole nine. Will be sight on scene. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, as you saw in the video. Uh, you will be fined one thousand dollars, and you have to go to what they call a state referee, who will like inspect your car, top to bottom, to make sure that you're compliant. And if you're not, they even they, I don't know what a state referee is because they said referee. I kept picturing like the NFL refs. Basically, that means that. Uh, your car can even be crushed. Now, wh why would California do this? Well, California has always had the most strict carbon emissions in basically the world. You know, they're very much a uh, they're very much a state that does not play games with emissions, carbs, because you know they're very green, very uh, you know they don't want uh, small smog and smoke from and the pollution, which I think is a good thing. But what happens is. When you start to go over the top, it gets to be unfair because the consequences, if you just want to get an X pipe on your car like a Mustang, that can be a thousand dollar fine. And what's happening, if you saw in the video, the uh, girl who was pulled over, uh, from what I understand, that's actually a stock car. Components on this motor and this exhaust system, okay? okay. There'll be some information on this citation. You'll also receive something in the mail. Okay. All right? It's no longer correctable in California. Okay. Any modification to exhaust, you shall go before a judge and it's a thousand dollar fine. So, and it's loud because there are many cars that are stock, like a Camaro, Mustang, uh, Hellcat, Challenger, whatever, Charger, and these cars sound loud. So if a cop sees your car, goes, oh, that sounds too loud. That has to be a thousand dollar fine. But he's hearing a stock exhaust. There's a lot of performance cars out there. So imagine the waste of time you have to go to this state ref, they call it, and say, my car is stock, look at it. You gotta take off work, you gotta either go there, I don't know if you gotta still pay the fine or not, but it's just a big waste of time. But here's where I'll pay de play devil's advocate and why I get it, and what the lawmakers were doing in California. Apparently, the street racing scene is so bad in California, where they have takeovers of actual sections of highways by these kind of car clubs, that people are getting killed, and they can't figure out who. So they're like, you know what? Everyone's guilty. We'll bring you all in. Whoever gets a ticket from the state ref, you have to bring your car in, or it'll be you can't even, it can't even be registered. And they're trying to weed out the uh, illegal cars. It's almost like they're trying to weed out the illegals. You know, it's weird. Uh, but the, the the interesting consequence of all this is that who pays is a little guy. The, the, you know, the kid who just puts a muffin delete on his car or an X-pipe, which I'm, by the way, I guarantee, even if street racers just go back to stock exhaust, they're still going to street race. I mean, it's not the greatest, like, idea. Oh, we'll just catch every guy who changes, or girl who changes their exhaust, and we'll give them a $1,000 fine. They go before a state ref, and we'll solve the problem. Uh, people can still drive stock Lamborghinis, or people can still, mod like, a, a good exhaust is going to give you 30 to 50 horsepower. That's about it. So even if you if everyone has stock exhaust, people are still going to race because there's a whole other thing with the transmission. If you have an automatic or you can do so much motor work and you can nitrous and power adders, like it just doesn't end to make cars faster. You don't always need exhaust. So it's kind of a stupid idea. We're on a federal grant right now. There's about a dozen of us working this. We're going to be working this every weekend okay. and two or three times during the week sporadically. All because of the fatalities involving cars similar to this. Not same as you guys, but you're driving one with the stuff, get it fixed. Okay. Otherwise, thousand bucks every time. If you're gonna do it for admissions reasons because of pollution, I get it. But if you're doing it because of street racing, there's other ways to go around it because you shouldn't have to punish people 
who don't engage in that activity, who don't street race, who just want the car to sound cool, which is basically what we all do, and why we get exhaust, you know, is, is why. Um, now, am I for emissions and the clean air and clean air and all? Yes, I am. <laughs> But I guarantee that uh, the amount or the percentage of cars that are modified compared to like regular cars all over the, all over the country is so minimal. Us in the modified community, whatever, Asian, import, you know, domestic, whatever, we're such a small percentage of cars that to punish us, it, it, it doesn't make sense. You know, I think that it, you still have to pass inspection anyways. Like when my car eventually goes back to stock or I sell it or whatever, I can put on the cat list or, 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 or headers, but the point is, it becomes excessive where if you have a fast car or if you buy like a, a car that's fast from the factory, you gotta look over your shoulder like, am I gonna get a thousand dollar fine? That's why actually my car 2018 has an actual thing called active exhaust, which turns it to quiet mode so you can drive in quiet and hopefully not get a thousand dollar ticket. Maybe Ford and these other companies knew that, but heaven forbid you want just a little bit more sound all is lost, you know, a thousand dollar ticket, you saw by this cop, the girl was like, what am I being pulled over for? And then what happens too is, if you, if you get this thousand dollar ticket and you're, and you're, you're not guilty, uh, your car is done, it's just, it's gonna be a, it's a big mess. Uh, I feel bad for all my Mustang brothers and sisters who are living in California because I don't know. Um, am I against this law? Uh, yes, uh, but I am, uh, but I am for like, you know, we have to have inspection because cars have to be legal because it's for the safety of everybody. I get it. But this law is not fair because you're saying everybody's guilty until proven innocent. And that's where I think it's wrong. Um, in the link description below, there's a petition to try to amend or change the law. Of course, I don't live in California, but I've been blown up enough where people who I support the car communities there who, who are good. They don't, they don't like do street takeovers and you know hurt the public but there are people there who just want their car to look cool and sound a little bit cooler what's i don't think there's any harm in that it's a way to bring community together it's also good for business so a lot of businesses in this country who make aftermarket parts who make parts that are smog legal um who who do have parts that that cooperate with the laws uh so there's a way to meet in the middle but this i think is excessive this i think is unfair this I think is really making it, uh, you know, you're, it's becoming too strict. And then what happens is you have the wrong person getting pulled over for a thousand dollar ticket they don't deserve. And the person, if you do have an exe excessive exhaust and you gotta go back to stock, then that's fine, you know, they caught you, good for California. But I don't think it's gonna solve the problem of street takeovers and street racing and, and, and illegal activity as far as cars are concerned because and exhaustion doesn't really matter that much in the end of the day. People can still go fast without that. But anyways, there's a lot of different variables in this, but I, I wanted to make sure I gave it some light and gave it uh, my opinion uh, because, I mean, looking forward, there's going to be a hybrid Mustang soon. So they know, they, they these companies know what's coming down the road. I don't know if that will trickle down to the rest of the country, you know, I don't talk politics on this channel. I try, you know, whatever. I don't know what Trump's going to do about anything. Uh, but what I do know is I think that this particular law is unfair because just saying every, it's a, just a white wash. It's just generalizing everybody that, hey, it, it's up to the cop's discretion. If, if he suspects it's illegal, he'll give you a ticket, sight unseen. There's no fix it ticket. There's no like, okay, just get, take it, get it taken care of. Um, so, you know, I know we play games with us in the modified car community where we tin our windows or we change our rims, we change our look of our car, we maybe make it a little bit louder. We want to make it this a little bit faster, a little bit different, a little bit unique, but I just don't agree with this $1,000 sight on scene ticket. You know, there's I think there's another way to go around it. Anyways, petitions down below, link to the to the uh to the clips um from Instagram are down below. Let me know what you guys think below. If you're here for the first time, you've made it this long, please do. I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to grow. We're trying to go. We're trying to get bigger. All right, y'all. I hope you know it never ends. Peace. Citation. You also need to take to a state referee and have them verify all the components on this motor and this exhaust system, okay? Okay. There'll be some information on this citation. You'll also receive something in the mail. Okay. All right?
It's no longer correctable in California. Okay. Any modification to exhaustion, you shall go before a judge, and it's a thousand dollar fine. Okay, I wasn't okay? aware of it. That changed last month, due okay. to the takeovers and some of the street racing. I so get unfortunately, it. you're facing a thousand dollars, buddy, and you will see you in court. Everything we do here is video camera. All right, you guys, be careful as you pull away. Okay. I recommend fixing it right away, and not continuing to, to drive. We're on a federal grant right now. So there's about a dozen of us working this. We're going to be working this every weekend, okay. and two or three times during the week, sporadically. All because of the fatalities involving cars similar to this. Not saying it was you guys, but you're driving one with the stuff, get it fixed.